Hi, in this video I'm going to explore another part of the birds and flowers theme. Um, it's not so much flowers I suppose as a plant in this case. Um, a blackbird last week got me thinking about how the blackbirds and I both love strawberries. Um, luckily we grow enough to share with them so uh, there's plenty to go around. I've brought a strawberry plant into the studio and uh, I've done a bit of a warm-up exercise already, a bit of drawing. So I'm going to show you in a minute how I started my drawing and what I used. Here I've got, um, let's check if you can see, a Derwent sketching dark wash 8B it is, this pencil. Um, see the little paintbrush symbol on it that shows that it's water soluble which means that when I've um, been drawing with it I can use a paintbrush a wet paintbrush to move the graphite around on the surface so it behaves like a watercolour um, uh, pencil All right okay Anyway, what I'll do is uh, just take you down off there and start a new sketch. I've got my plant sitting there where you can see it, but I've also taken a photograph from the point of view of the camera lens on my iPad that I'm filming on because the uh, the viewpoint I can see from here where I'm sitting is not quite the same as the viewpoint that you see so it actually might be better if I draw from this photograph. Okay. Um, I'm looking first of all at the, at the overall shape of the plant. This would have grown a dome shape. Um, I want to just feel my way around on the paper quite loosely to give me sort of the, the size and direction that all the leaves are growing in, the size of the plant, the direction the leaves are growing in. This leaf down here is, is the e most easily seen and, and has quite a lot of information in it there. So that's going to be sort of become the focus of my drawing this morning. I probably won't finish the rest to any great degree, but um, as with a lot of sketchbook work, this is practice at looking and seeing, observation, practice at uh, using pencils, drawing. And just part of the thinking process that may lead to a finished piece of work. It may lead to a finished piece of work, or it may not. But um, the doing is the important thing with art, I think. Sitting there and doing it. Really um, important to stop worrying about what it's going to turn into. Although that's, that's quite hard to do. I do have plans in my mind. And I've begun thinking about making this uh, composition as, uh, as a collage. I've got um, some music. I've got the music there, which I can feel might get torn up and become part of the collage. It was heading towards the charity bag. So it's been rescued. <laughs> and I can quite... Possibly I can imagine in my mind get turned into part of this collage. I relate music to birds very much so. So I've started just, uh, it's like blocking in in a way. And look, I can't really see too much detail on my photograph which is an advantage, so I'm not really worrying about 
the complexity because it's incredibly complex this plant and it could be a bit daunting to draw and sometimes if you can actually see less it's an advantage you can just generalize not get too bogged down in detail too early I'm actually it's fairly awkward in a way the way I'm sitting drawing I'm sitting a bit low down and drawing high up so my arms are going to get tired quite soon and that's making me uh, hurry up in a way to try and get as much information down in a quite a short length of time and it's encouraging me to make more expressive marks rather than very controlled marks and then what I'm hoping to do really is to describe the character of a plant rather than uh, it's certainly no botanical drawing, this. There's strawberry plants growing in a plant pot, so what I did, I didn't want to draw the plant pot, so I made a like a skirt for it out of brown paper and cut um, slots into the middle to fit it around the plant. So it's uh, it's easier to draw without worrying about the 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 cylinder of the plant pot that it's growing in. I could almost imagine that these cast shadows are the shadows that it would cast on the soil that it's growing in, if it was growing in the strawberry bed, which if I, if I do make it into a finished piece of work, which it might become next week for the next video, I, uh, I would, in, I would um, pretend it was growing in the soil. And Blackbird is sitting nearby. He's looking at it. I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. Because of course they can look in two directions at once, can't they, birds? They can watch the strawberries and they can watch us at the same time. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's looking quite wild, that, isn't it? Let's just splash a bit of water around. It sort of turns the graphite into a beautiful grey watercolour wash. And I can, I can sort of, I've got it picked up on the brush now, so I can fill some of the leaves in. With what's building up on the brush. little flower up there. A bit of dork coming out. Tiny weeny little flower. I think it's some kind of alpine strawberry this. There, so the 
birds and flowers. <laughs> That one has the petals have come off, and that's actually a little green strawberry in the middle there. I did see a red one hanging down. It's in there somewhere. It's a red strawberry. Anyway, that's quite a good beginning sketch, just something really loose. Describes the character of the plant. Fun to do. Could probably sit down for longer. Having done this, I could sit down for longer and do a more detailed drawing of some of the leaves. So I would recommend when you're going to have a, a drawing session that uh, you start off with a few really loose and scribbly sketches and then turn over and do some perhaps longer, more considered drawings. <laughs> 